wait to read what you've written. Let's get started. Dear Lupita, I must ask you what you would have done differently if you would have read a book like Sulwe when you were younger. This is from Priscilla. I think I would have learned to love my skin a lot sooner. I think that's the power of books, is that when you can see yourself reflected in a character, you feel less alone, you feel less weird, um, and just more accepted. How has acting affected your confidence? Ooh. I think it's made me face my fears, you know, on a daily basis. Every time I go to act in front of people, there's only so much I can control about the moment. That's when you can really discover the most about yourself and actually achieve things beyond your wildest dreams. Emily16, what are your top tips for ensuring you stand out from the crowd? <laughs> Dr. Seuss says it best, there is no one who is youer than you. That's what he says. And it's true. I think when you are you're the best version of yourself, standing out takes care of itself. Elizabeth, age four, would you like to have a dinosaur party or a unicorn party? <laughs> I adore that question. I think unicorns, there's more uh, color. What is the one piece of makeup that makes you feel most confident? Mm. I love mascara. It's dark and it's light and it's easy to put on and it just brightens your eyes. And a light foundation like Tainty Doll by Lancome. I love how it just blends with my complexion in a way that it's unnoticeable really. What's more important, being successful or being kind? What do you think success means? Because I think sometimes we think that success means how much money we have in our pocket and how many people follow us on Instagram, when really I think we get to define it for ourselves, what makes us happiest. And I think there's a way to be kind and successful and be successful at being kind. Are you excited when you step on set? How do you overcome stage fright? Oh, I love having stage fright because it's a reminder that I'm trying something new, um, that I'm gonna risk something, and hopefully in the process learn something. Basima. Lupita, how do you cope with the pressure of being a strong woman in a male-dominated industry? Woo, okay, Basima. <laughs> One of the things I do is I cut myself some slack. I'm not always strong, and I think it's okay not to always be strong. I think it's just about not apologizing for existing. Syra, age 18, how do you stay true to yourself? Do you ever feel like you could lose this on the way? I feel like I'm, I'm evolving. I don't think that being yourself remains one thing. I think evolving is more important. Learning is more important. Genevieve, who's four? What is your favorite part of the rainbow? Ow, I like that question. My favorite part of the rainbow is the part that disappears. Because uh, you never really know how a rainbow begins and how it ends, it's just there. And I love that. I loved reading these questions. Thank you so much for taking the time to write to me and to share your thoughts. I hope you've enjoyed hearing mine.